It was a bit of a surprise. I've been looking for APG cash management uh, for quite a while here, and there is a new look at APG. Uh, total new rebrand. Uh, Paul, tell me a little bit about the, the rationale behind it. Absolutely, Ben. Good to see you again. Yeah, we, we decided to update our brand. As you know, we've been 40 years legacy of credible quality and, and shipping accuracy. Uh, we manufacture our own drawers here in England, but also in the U.S. Uh, and as we saw the market develop and change, we felt it was really time to add to our product selection. And that really caused us to look at the services we offer our customers because it's gotten so much more broad than cash drawers. And that was the time to evolve the brand and update the brand, refresh it, and really talk about who we are today and where we're going in the future. Now, speaking to that, what is this, uh, this broadening of offering your expertise? Yeah, great question. With that, I'll turn it over to our managing director here in Europe, Andrew Carr. Hey, uh, Andrew, uh, so we're talking about a legacy of a, a more advanced company, older company, and now you're going with a rebrand with a new portfolio, with, a, with an expanded portfolio. What's going on? We've looked at the, what the markets, how the market's changing, and we've then built our portfolio of offerings out to align with and meet to what the market is asking for. So we're providing more value, and that's at the heart of what we've done with the brand. We're seeing a lot of uh, more advanced store layout, a lot of IT involved systems at the show here these days. How does your company play into this with its today and tomorrow offering? Well, you're absolutely right. That change is pretty significant, and, and that's because how consumers are purchasing is different as well, especially since the pandemic. So what we've done is we have developed technology, which means that we're helping our customers to be able to connect with their consumers and the community in a better way. Talking about the pandemic, I know that cash usage really plummeted right when the pandemic hit. Let's say the pandemic's over. What do you see happening over the next six months to a year? What you typically see when a recession hits is universally you see a greater usage of cash. It is the most simplistic and basic budgeting tool. And a lot of people that are more constrained by the amount of cash they've got will typically use cash. We've seen that in the past and we expect that to continue. When it comes back, how will it play out in two years, three years time? We don't know. But what we do know is everyone is telling us it's not going away. And any cash, you need cash systems. You've got to have a cash system. You, you know, if one person's using it, you need cash. There are many reasons why cash draws are still going to be relevant, as they have been for the last 40, 50 years. We see that continuing, and certainly our customers and partners also tell us they see that continuing. Uh, Andrew, Paul, thank you both very much. Thanks, Ben.